you're about to see some of the creepiest videos found on the internet. Let's check them out. A truck driver in Monterey, Mexico has become the subject of an eerie mystery following a routine night shift on March 31st, 2024. While the drive itself was described as uneventful, the dash cam footage reviewed by the truck company's security team revealed a chilling sight. There's a mysterious woman sitting in the cabin with the driver. The footage, recorded around 3am, shows a woman with a pale, gaunt complexion and dressed in older style clothing appearing next to the driver. This revelation left the security team and the driver himself in shock. The driver insisted that he had been alone throughout his entire night shift. When the driver was shown the footage, he was visibly shaken and terrified, unable to provide any explanation for the presence of the woman. The truck company's security team has also been left scratching their heads with no rational explanation for the mysterious figure. The haunting image of the woman has led to widespread speculation. Some suggest the possibility of a ghost, while others consider the potential for a sophisticated prank. However, the driver maintains he had no part in fabricating the footage, adding to the intrigue and fear surrounding this bizarre incident. On July 6th, 2014, Martin Springall captured a chilling moment while photographing his four-year-old daughter on a beach in Zushi, Japan. At the time, Springall was living in Tokyo and claims there was no one else around when he took the photos. However, upon reviewing the images later that night, he noticed something strange that he hadn't seen before. A pair of black boots standing directly behind his daughter. Springall recalled the unsettling discovery, noting his daughter is particularly shy and would never have stood still for a photo if someone had been just behind her. I took a few pictures and when I was looking through them at night, I noticed what appeared to be a pair of boots behind her in one of the photos. I took several of her in the same spot, but only one had the boots, he explained. Intrigued and spooked, a friend of Springall's uploaded the eerie images to Reddit, sparking a wave of theories and speculations from viewers. Among the most unsettling theories is the idea that the black boots could belong to the ghost of a long-deceased samurai. This theory is bolstered by the fact that the beach where the photo was taken is near a well-known samurai graveyard, adding a historical layer to this mystery. Others speculated that the boots might belong to a World War II sailor considering Japan's extensive maritime history and the possibility of spirits lingering from that era. The beach, steeped in history, could very well be a place where restless spirits roam. Regardless of the origin, the images left many viewers uneasy, pondering the possibilities of what Martin Springall's camera might have captured. Is it a glimpse into the past, a residual haunting, or merely a trick of the light? Let me know where you land on this strange photo in the comments down below. A spine-chilling video has surfaced online, purportedly capturing the ghost of a woman on the Satillo Turion Highway in Mexico. This unsettling footage was shared on Facebook by a user named Ida Olivas, who recounted his eerie experience while driving along the notorious stretch of road. Olivas explained in his post that during his drive, he noticed what appeared to be a woman running at an unusually high speed along the side of the road. Initially, he dismissed it as an optical illusion, especially since everyone else in the car was asleep at the time. However, upon reviewing the car's dash cam footage, he was stunned to see a spectral silhouette indeed pass by at a high speed. According to Olivas, the sighting occurred during his return trip from Monterey, Nuevo Leon. 
The recording has quickly gained traction, receiving over a thousand reactions and numerous comments from other social media users. One particularly striking comment came from a young woman who claimed to have seen the same ghostly figure standing by some memorial crosses along the same highway. Olivas's experience adds to the growing number of eerie accounts associated with the Saltillo Torreon Highway. Stories of supernatural encounters on this road have circulated for years, with many attributing these sightings to restless spirits tied to past tragedies. While some remain skeptical, dismissing the footage as a trick of the light or an overactive imagination, others are convinced that Olivas has indeed captured evidence of a ghostly presence. Cuz Latif, a well-known influencer from Indonesia, typically entertains his audience with vibrant videos showing local life and quirky dance routines. <laughs> However, a video posted by Latif in December of 2020 took an unexpected and eerie turn, leaving viewers spooked and speculating about the supernatural. Take a look. In the video, Latif is seen dancing energetically while carrying a large speaker. Everything seemed perfectly normal. It was until a few eagle-eyed viewers noticed something peculiar. At the very beginning of the clip, a disembodied hand appears to reach up and grab Latif by the shoulder. <laughs> this unsettling detail quickly captured the attention of his audience and the video went viral almost overnight. The unexpected presence of the hand led to widespread speculation and debate among his viewers. Many were convinced that Latif had inadvertently captured a ghost on camera, while others scrambled to find a more rational explanation. Responding to the viral sensation, Latif addressed his followers, stating that while he was accompanied by a few friends during the shoot, there was no one behind him at the time. He admits he has no explanation for the eerie hand. While Cuz Latif continues to entertain his followers with his usual content, the December 2020 video stands out as a chilling reminder of the unknown, leaving many to wonder about the true nature of the disembodied hand and the potential for supernatural phenomena. In 2015, Kevin Brown visited the Fort Worth Museum of Science and History in Texas with his niece and two nephews. While snapping a series of photos on his iPad, he didn't notice anything out of the ordinary at the time. However, upon reviewing the images later that day, Brown's niece spotted something deeply unsettling in one of the photos. The image appears to show a withered figure dressed in dirty rags floating above the floor with outstretched hands. This eerie discovery left both Brown and his niece profoundly disturbed. The Fort Worth Museum of Science and History has a history of strange occurrences, particularly during its hosting of a Titanic exhibition. Security guards have reported unusual shadows appearing on cameras and objects mysteriously moving by themselves. These incidents have added to the museum's reputation as a site of unexplained phenomena. While the true nature of the apparition remains a mystery, the unsettling experience has certainly left a mark on Brown and his family, and continues to be a topic of fascination for those interested in the unexplained. This next viral sensation has taken TikTok by storm this past week. Posted by user The Spooky Page, the clip shows a man engaged in a video call when something truly unsettling happens. Take a look. A door suddenly opens all by itself. While this moment alone is eerie enough, things get even stranger. The facial recognition software being used during the video call highlights a presence in the room. 
According to the app, it identifies a woman with an angry expression, estimating her age to be between 560 and 565 years old. The eerie event has sparked a flurry of reactions. While some viewers believe it's merely a glitch in the software, others are more intrigued by the initial cause of the door opening. This has led to speculation about the capabilities of facial recognition technology, with some wondering if it might be able to detect entities or presences that are invisible to the naked eye. The unsettling combination of the door opening all on its own and the bizarre identification by the software has left many viewers both fascinated and creeped out. Could it be possible that this technology is picking up on something paranormal? Or is it just a series of coincidental glitches? Set. Coming up in our last segment, in just a few seconds, we take a look at a disturbing photo captured inside of a Spanish town hall. But before we do, remember to hit that subscribe button, tickle that little bell icon there, and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be notified every time we drop our scary and intriguing episodes. In February 2017, a council official in the Spanish town of Vegas del Genil captured an eerie image of what appears to be a young girl in the hallway of the local town hall. The official, working late, felt a sudden drop in temperature in his office. Upon hearing a rustling sound from the hallway, he took a photo with his phone, fearing there might be intruders in the building. At first glance, the hallway appeared completely empty. However, when reviewing the photos later, he noticed the figure of a young girl peering back at him. After sharing the image with colleagues, several recounted similar strange occurrences while working in the building. Despite calls to hire a priest or ghost hunters to investigate, the mayor remained skeptical, prioritizing practical concerns over paranormal investigations. So what do you think this is? Love to hear your theories on this one in the comments down below. Have you ever heard of the disturbing case of the exorcism of Kennedy Aoife? We took a deep dive on this disturbing story over on our second channel, Select Hand Mysteries. Throughout history, devout followers of various religions have held the belief in the existence of malevolent forces capable of escaping the depths of hell to inhabit human, animal, or even inanimate forms, wreaking havoc upon the earth. For these believers, the ritual of exorcism emerged as the singular means to rescue the souls of those afflicted by such evil influences. Conversely, individuals with more secular viewpoints came to regard claims of possession as symptomatic of severe mental or physical ailments, relegating exorcisms to the realm of fictional horror tales, such as those depicted in The Exorcist and The Conjuring film series. In a startling true crime narrative, the collision of ancient religious doctrines with modern skepticism culminated in a tragedy that some argue should be etched into history as nothing short of murder. This is The Exorcism of Kennedy Aoife. If you want to get the full gruesome details on this bizarre case, we'll put some links to the episode in the description box down below there. It's also pinned in the comments. Hit subscribe, turn on channel notifications, and we'll see you in the comments. Well, hey, well, that's the end of the episode. Thank you so much for watching. Watch some more right here with these two links right there. Now, if you love what we do here at Slapped Ham, consider becoming a member. There's the little blue join button right there. Click that, that'll pop up with all the benefits our members are currently enjoying. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time. 